Welcome back legends, it is time for another installment of 5 Minute Licks. On today's video, I want to take a little Sean Lane inspired fives lick that uses some economy picking. We're going to learn a very basic version of this and then we'll apply it to a couple of different two note per string patterns. I kind of like this lick because when you hear Sean play it, they can blaze it and it sounds incredible as a pattern of fives. I can't blaze it. I like using it as a phrasing pattern for kind of mid-tempo stuff. So give an example of what I'm talking about and then we'll break it down. <laughs> idea around the note groupings and the fingerings is pretty straightforward. The trick is going to be in how we choose to pick this. Let's start in the key of A minor using our classic shape number one built around the fifth fret. We're going to start by playing up four notes. So they're going to be the notes A, C, D and E. Then we will come back and play a C on the low string, that's fret eight. And what we're gonna do there is alternate pick the first four notes. And this upstroke here, we're gonna continue through and get a little economy swipe in there so that we can get the fifth note like this. From there, we can apply the same picking pattern to each set of strings. So now we're going to be all fives and sevens on the A and D. Now my left hand fingering, as you can see, is not very consistent there. I generally try to use my first three fingers for all of this and I might swap over to doing this two fret gap with my first and ring finger as well. So if we run that through the whole scale shape, we get this. <laughs> What I like to do on the top is to play the root note of the ninth and then come back down to fret eight on the B string and give that a bend. So the ending would be this. One more time, nice and slow. It's really hard not to play that as a cascade and speed up as well. It sounds really cool when you do that. You can, of course, apply this idea to any two note per string shape. Uh, for example, you could take a C major seventh arpeggio. And if you played fret seven and eight on the low string, then seven and 10 on the A string, then took that up through octaves, would get this. <laughs> I really like this shape up here around the 12th fret in the key of A, uh, built around like an A minor nine idea. I'll show it to you really, really quickly. One little technical note on here, what I would encourage you to pay attention to is when you were doing that little economy stroke back that you kind of maintain your pick slant on there and you don't sort of fall over with an upstroke there, which is something that I used to do a lot. I still do sometimes, but it's something I'm very, very mindful of. So I'll play it through one more time just so you can kind of watch my pick slant. Hopefully I'll do it correctly for you. <laughs> So we want to avoid doing this. Let me know how you go with this lick in the comment section below. And if you'd like to support my channel, there are some links to do that in the video description. Go and listen to some Sean Lane this week and I'll see you all next Monday for another installment of 5 Minute Licks. Catch you then. <laughs>